Hi, welcome back to my channel, Fix and Repair. I'd like to give a thanks to everyone that subscribed and all the people that watch my videos. I'm in the process of being monetized. So thank you very much. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe as well. So today I'm going to talk about my Ranch King mud mower. And I had a problem where the oil drain tube or pipe, it cracked right at the base of the aluminum engine it's cast aluminum now that can happen maybe sometimes some people they uh, thread that pipe in too far and it'll split it because it won't stop it gets tapered and and when it does stop it'll crack the bottom or it can happen if you have too long of a pipe on there and you're not careful with the engine and you can break it off that way <clears throat> well i came up with a easy way to fix it Instead of taking it someplace and having them, I believe it's called brazing aluminum, I use JB Weld. I use the Quick Set JB Weld, and I buy mine at Home Depot because they sell the big tubes there. And it's a little bit cheaper when you buy the bigger tubes. For a while there, I think Farm and Fleet was selling it, but I don't think they sell the Quick Set. So I got this at Home Depot, like I said. All right, <laughs> open the hood. We have a Briggs and Stratton IC Quiet 12 and a half. You can see right down here. I get focus. That's where it cracked. Cracked right in the going down on an angle like that on both sides. So what I did I took the engine off. I put a block of wood underneath. I took a can of brake cleaner. And I cleaned it thoroughly. I also used a wire brush on it. I wiped everything down, cleaned it several times. That's the most important thing because you got to have no oil residue on it at all. <clears throat> and I made it, made sure that all the oil ran out of it before I even tilted it to the side. Drained all the oil out of it. And then <clears throat> I mixed some up and I put it on both pieces of the aluminum. And then I put it together. And uh, since this is quick set, it helps hold it in place. And I used some uh, cardboard, you use a block of wood, and I propped this pipe up so it wouldn't come down. And I let it sit overnight because this stuff will set up in four to six hours. Even had a, a flashlight on it to give it a little heat. And then in the morning, I put a second coat on there and I put it all back together and I have no leaks. So it does work. Now I know there's, there's a product called PR7, I believe, and I've used that a bit. And then Harbor Freight has also epoxy too. It's a copy of JB Weld. I've used that a few times. But for this, I wanted to make sure it was right and I didn't have to go back. And I know that JB Weld works really well, so that's why I use that. So if you find this video helpful, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Thank you.